I don't know what you're doing. So. What's up, guys? Garrett Chapel here with 910 Outdoors. Here we are again for another episode of Canada Caravan Vlog Series. Starting to get pretty good at saying that now. Yeah, we're out here again. Excuse me, it's dark. Oh. Last episode, we ended with putting in the E-Track, building the partition wall, and I've kind of left it right there. So today we're coming back to finish that all up. We got a couple shelves we're gonna put in on the front side, on the decoy side. Then we're gonna pull it all out, get it painted up. So we're getting ready. Let's go. So the plan for the shelving is right here, we have done uh, just a single E-Track mount and uh, another one of the two by fours. So we'll have another two by four running across from here to here. And then shelf will go across the top here. That shelf is just gonna be for random odds and ends, um, stuff like blind bags, guns, whatever, cleaning kit, anything we wanna throw out there, just kind of personal item shelf or whatever. And then, on the bottom we're doing the same thing across this one we're gonna have another shelf right there and so this row right here will hold that will be where we end up putting um our silhouette bags uh, to hold all the tangle free skinnies that'll go right there and then underneath on the very bottom on the floor will actually be our goose floaters uh, we got two of these bags so it'll be one two right there and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the idea. We we'll get them built up, then we're gonna rip it all out, paint it up, so it should be ready to go. disclaimer here before somebody calls us out for about what we're about to do I lost all my life before somebody calls us out on what we're going to do Nate's going to explain to you <laughs> why we're rattle canning this wall so, the hundred and ninety dollar sheet of plywood takes a whole lot of paint we ain't got a whole lot of paint so we're going to uh, adapt when we're going to rattle can the mess out of it and then we're going to paint it <laughs> Yeah, so what we noticed when we painted the walls in the trailer is that the wood soaks up the paint a lot. And a uh, matter of fact, we did two full coats on that and still touched it up. And there's still spots where you can still see the wood grain. Like, it just soaks in so bad. So we're, our thoughts were kind of, let's give it a base coat of some cheap Dollar General rattle can. And then we'll come back with the real cigarette white. And uh, hopefully that'll eliminate some of the... Uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, soaking the image of the paint. spray paint and a gallon of sweet tea and it was only sixteen dollars <laughs> that tells you something <laughs> right there <laughs>
in, clean it up. Almost time to start uh, putting stuff in here. All right, guys, that about does it for today. Uh, obviously, it's dark out here. We're having to use our uh, accessory lighting here. Uh, Gary, whenever we got the wall in, got it painted, little touch-up spots we're gonna do, but uh, coming right along. One thing we got to do too is test all these lights. We wanted to run them for a solid, you know, two hours, three hours. Let them run, burn the battery down a little bit, and see if the solar panel is gonna charge up like we want it to do. But until then, we'll see you on the next one. And the battery is dead.